love album art. You know, I think it's been a huge part of what people identify and feel about um, the music and the, and the records. And uh, when it's done well, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I used to love gatefold sleeves when you sit home with a new record, open it up, and uh, it was just a precious moment. And, uh, and now we've gone into sort of this digital world, um, a lot of that has been lost. And we've been talking uh, about trying to get some nice quality prints of, of the artwork for a long time. And uh, now, fortunately, with our friend Andy Wood, it's actually all happened. Um, and so they are going to be made available on the site very soon. Um, I've forgotten some of the images and some of the work that went into it, but uh, there's a lot of great people and um, uh, I think cool ideas that have gone into some of these album sleeves. The album cover was done with Hypnosis, who I worked with a little bit at the end of Genesis period, Storm and Peter particularly. And I think they are, are um, very important in, in the way that album sleeves have developed over the years. This was actually his car that I was sitting in on the front cover. And I liked the idea of the, uh, the water and the sort of black and white and blue color. One idea I'd had for that first cover too was to do mirrored contact lenses. And it took me about a month to find someone who would manufacture mirrored contact lenses. But they made me sign something that if I damaged my eye, they wouldn't take any responsibility. They were very painful to wear, but the um, effect was fantastic. It was like having steel balls for eyes. artwork was done uh, again with hypnosis but with Peter Christopherson who did this uh, in New York and again it was um, cold and snowy and Storm had had the idea of the nails tearing away at the paper of the image. Album three, we did the sleeve with uh, Storm again at Hypnosis, and uh, he introduced me to these things called Charisma Graphs, I think, but there was a photographer called Les Crims who discovered that if you take a Polaroid and you squash it, you can get the colors to run. And we used to go after them with different objects and burnt matches and coins and fingers and all sorts of things, and it was a it was a lot of fun because you had to get the timing right, but you got some wonderful effects out of the distortion. The artwork on album four was something that I've been working on with um, a sculptor called uh, Malcolm Pointer. Uh, whose work I thought was really strong. He used to do these things out of um, very dark heads. There was a book I'd seen too on distortions, a little, little like fairground mirrors, and we started using that with some Melanex, which is a sort of bendy mirror. Shaking the Tree as artwork, which um, was done by Robert Maplethorpe, who I think you know, is one of the great photographers. The uh, results I, th I was really happy with, and uh, I had this idea to, to do some with my eyes shut. Uh, so you have one which is on the front with eyes shut and then eyes open. Thank you.